This is what the assembled centrifuge fuge looks like, but the CAD model will be easier to understand. This is the central rotating impeller. You can see the veins in the impeller that make the, the air rotate with the impeller. And at the other end, you can see that there are fan blades which force air into the impeller. So it's pushing air through and rotating the particles to accelerate them towards the wall. The impeller rotates inside an outer casing. You can see here, the outer casing has a, um, a housing for the motor at the far end. And you can see that there's room for the air to go around the motor and get into the impeller tube. At the far end of the tube, there's a cap or a plenum to capture the clean air and allow the dirty air at the edges to exit through a side port. So there's a hole through the middle where we can insert a tube to capture the air that the clean air that's going down the middle of the impeller. Now at the other end, of course, we have to put a cap on the motor. So we'll have a look at that. This is the motor cap. You can see there's slots to uh, attach it to the chassis or the outer shell. And there's two holes for the wires connecting to the motor, the power to the motor. And there's two pins in there which slide into the motor to stop the motor from rotating. Okay, here's the impeller just connected directly to the motor. So you can see how it runs. The, the blades are at this end. And there's definitely air coming out and it's uh, definitely rotating the air that's in the tube. And this is only running at three volts. The, uh, this thing can easily take five volts and go much faster. So if you want it to operate with a higher throughput, you can just put more voltage on it. Okay, I'm just gonna hook this up to the power supply. I'm gonna take the cap off for now and hook up three volts. Let's hope I've got it rotating in the right direction. But uh, rather than fiddle around with this and get it working perfectly, I want to publish this so that everybody gets a chance to look at it and uh, spark their own ideas as to how to do this kind of thing.